Hey. Hey. Aaron Kiss. We're we're in a little late time zone, central time. We kissed a little at 420 bit late. yesterday. We didn't go live um, yesterday. But I Robert want, did. I want to just say Thank you. that Holly told me not to say that she was yelling at me <laughs> right before we went on. All right, by the way. So I'm not going to say By the way, she you are really aggressive. We You're not even passive aggressive. You're just aggressive. This is ridiculous. Hey, Melanie. I need a haircut. I told you not to do it anymore. What? You need a haircut. So do I. And I'm getting one Saturday. Thank God. And all the, all the gray say, bye bye, gray. It's a little bit too much of looking at myself here. And you got a lot of gray, too. Thank mm, you. You're welcome. A little too much what? <laughs> well, listen, you do eight events in one year and see how much gray you have. Let me just tell you. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Long time no see. Not me. Him. So, cheers. Yes, I am means. using my little cup. I have a very delicious Cabernet. Glass. It is by the Bayer family. I like this Cabernet. I find it is very easy to sip and enjoy. Um... Your friend Ellen's birthday today. Happy birthday, Ellen. She just um, said thank you for her birthday message. So, to those of you that might not know, well, Deborah, you know. Holly is pregnant. <laughs> no, I'm not. I wouldn't be drinking wine. I wouldn't be enjoying, I don't know what I wouldn't be Wouldn't enjoying. that be weird, huh? Holly was pregnant. It'd only be weird except for the fact that I'm 56, almost 57. So, almost. yesterday at... About this time, exactly, we opened the doors to Canna Pop Up number eight last night. Hey, Michael. Um, and it was, it was, uh, rewarding. Pretty damn good. It's rewarding. I want to say my quote that I don't know, I'm assuming you all saw it, those that are on right now, or those that are inspired to watch it and replay. Um, and if you are watching it, I encourage you to please share it. And pay it forward um, because... That direction. What? Forward. That direction. Forward. But what I want to say is the quote I wrote, I love this, is feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. And I got to tell you, I think that that kind of says it. People should be saying thank you more often. I and said it a lot last hey, night. Hey, Michelle. I said it a lot. You did say it a lot. <clears throat> and I'm going to say it again. Um, I I'm going to say big thank yous to the brands that have really wonderful products and solutions for health, um, pain and inflammation, sleep, and, and so much more. Um, and really, you know, a host. But we have, you know, County Care Docs being there, helping people get their medical marijuana card. They were busy, they were busy, Dana was Dana. busy all night and, answering questions. And that beautiful and woman that, that says she's like a Halle Berry, by the way, she took, a, no, Best Buds. She took an amazing, beautiful picture with Best Buds with Did Amanda and, and Jen. So, you know? so hey, this, this lovely woman, Anita, calls me up. She leaves a message for us during the week. She was having difficulty getting getting a ticket. I don't know. You, it was, you took care of Yeah, that. I think she was. You're the troubleshooter. She was having difficulty either with a coupon code or, or something. So I called her back. And as quite often happens, I ended up on the phone with her for, you know, 20 minutes, um, just chatting. I, you know, we resolved her issue immediately, but then we're chatting and she, she said to me, um, you know, uh, I'm blonde, I'm a platinum blonde. She's I look like Halle Berry. She's wearing a hat. I think that's why she was wearing a hat when I saw her. You asked me about the blonde. Right. I didn't see so, the blonde. So you did. So yeah. Oh. So she says, I look like Halle Berry. I'm platinum blonde. look like Halle Berry. So She's of beautiful. course I spot her last night and I and I went up to her to Anita and I said, Are you Halle Berry? <laughs> um and we, we had a we had a hug. She's a beautiful lady. Um and she and she had a great time. She had like all these shopping bags and stuff. She had her caricature done. Uh and she came by herself and she oh, she a lot stayed of the whole come night. By Wait a um, second, there was someone else, um Oh my goodness, who was it? Oh, oh goodness, I can't remember her name. It's terrible. But anyway, someone left. Um, they have a business um, in 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 the world of CBD, and I think they bought from every single brand that was there. But they were. I rent. There was a, a, a couple also um, local. As a matter of fact, the guy works at Greenleaf. Oh yeah. Um, 
and he He's they're talking about starting Greenleaf dispensary Greenleaf in dispensary. Montclair. The first the first and, uh, dispensary in Montclair. <coughs> excuse me. And he's um in the process of starting his own uh C B D business and um Oh, yeah. You don't want to see kind of the But you know what? Like, wait a second. But let's then talk about Ursula because that's the same journey she's been on. So in December, she actually said she was at our first event, so, but she was our first testimonial in Montclair. Yeah. So so I remember Ursula first. What a beautiful lady. From January of this year at 18 Label Studios. Yeah. That's where I, although no, no, no. no. She did I come do in remember December. I do in remember January too. No, because December. I remember, no, no. I remember greeting her again in January. I remember, January was not the first time now that I think about it. She said it wasn't. That I she was her. in December. We definitely met. But what was so crazy, she was our first test video testimonial and she said she, you know, loved everything about Kind of Pop-Up. And aspired to be one in of the, the space, brands. one of the brands. And, and, last, and last night, night she, was. she was divinely delicious. She had some shrimp, she had some mac and cheese. Mac and cheese she yeah. had cupcakes. I think she had chicken. I had, the chicken looked amazing. I had the. I saw a few people eating the chicken. It was smoked people turkey wings, meals. I think. It looked so delicious. Then, I can't believe um, I didn't get to eat it. I had a. I tasted the chocolate, double chocolate CBD infused cupcake that she had. Yeah, I didn't taste anything. Was dynamite. So let me tell you something, okay? Um, what I loved about the space at the Annex at 18 label, and by the way, you didn't meet the couple. You didn't see Casey come in with I the, did see. Did you, did you say yeah. hello? I, I, I waved to her. I okay. acknowledged so her. So okay. We've been working with this really. Hey, Aaron. And by the way, Deborah, thank you for thanking us. But honestly, thank you. Thank you for tuning in every day, taking the time out of your day to want to be with us. We want to continue to um, share um, our stories, our lives, because we really believe that that's how we can, I don't know, feel better being with people that we really like and being part of this kind of this community um, in a professional way. Well, if things are starting, really things rewarding. are starting, the smoke is beginning to clear, right? But don't talk about that yet. Can we wait to talk about the smoke and, and the sure. tribune stuff? Sure. I want to talk, just to finish about our event. So I want to tell you there were we did not even, we just all of a sudden realized, why don't we look at the annex across the street from 18 Label yeah. Studios? And I think it's, it was like an, un, like a gem. Like, it was like, why didn't we look at that in the first place? Well, but don't we have kind of a knack for identifying talent and spaces yes, and but venue, things with potential the bringing part, out potential of, of, of spaces and people. So the venue is part of the cast of characters from the game. They get taught by Lynn, right? Well, we this is that. where Canna Pops is going to be. But we knew that. Listen, now, I, I can go. I can go to a hotel and rent space. Yeah. I can go to a catering hall and rent space. It's it's so cookie cutter. Okay. But let me tell you. Okay. But even when we did Twenty First Century Bride, that was so amazing. We made the location special. Right, oh, by, no. about how we the did landmark? the seating. Let me tell you something. And we, how we laid out the room and the and logo all cookies of that. from Palermo. Right, all and of the special touches no, we no. made. That was years ago. It's special. What was that? Two thousand. What? That was ten years ago. Two thousand eleven. No. Ten years. Ago. Maybe two thousand eleven. Maybe eight years ago. But let me tell you something. Hey, Mindy, is last night what was? You know, David asked us. Thank you, David Peebler. Thank you. Thank you. I mean. I say thank you for being so thoughtful and nice and kind words. He says, I'm being super honest. He did a post today on one of his pages, which I'm going to share um, in our communications um, because it gives me just such pride and, 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 and my heart is happy, but as is Roberts, but I will tell you that David also texted me personally and, um, He's been to almost every event. And he always gives us critique and feedback. And he's very honest value, with us. Which and, we value. And, and when he doesn't have the best time for whatever reason, he, he says why? He has an issue he or something, he so, will you know, tell us. And the thing is, and we want, we really receive this as just wanting to do better. That's all. Constructively. And, and you know what? It's. And he cares. It's, wait. He cares. Okay. The first one is easy. Right, the first event to do is easy. It was not easy. Well, I'm, what it I'm was saying so is, not easy. what I'm saying is, if there's no bar, oh. there's no bar set, right. right? But other people were doing events. Then you wait. Have, other people were doing events. Yes, but if we came out, right, our first event in Livingston was a hit. We did a daytime and a nighttime event. But you know what? We were right, also, the first of its kind. But we're B to like B that. and B to C. Wait a second. Okay. 
Hey Pat. And and then we did Hey Pat. And then we did um and then we did 18 label back in January mm -hmm. on January we 31st. Went to Livingston? The coldest night on, of cold, 2019. Mazoko, thank you Greg. Okay. You were at the truck. It was ice It was like cold. 5 degrees, but it was packed. We had a ton of people, right? So how do you keep like, how do you That's keep what David up said. that So, David, this is what he momentum. said in his, um, in his post. Because it's hard. And you know why? And, and We you, keep assessing them. And listen, I, listen, I have a, a complete respect for uh, event producers, okay? We are event producers. But as a, as a, as a group of people, because it's very stressful, right? And you work with me. Right? It's very stressful. From concept to completion. But it is, it's... Details. But doing details. it repeatedly at a certain level. And you, and you can Not tell can that everyone can, And you can tell by, you look at social media, okay? And when someone has an event, they show everything but the crowd. It's about serving the crowd. We get it. We know, you know, if you're showing... A, a tiny little window into your okay, Robert. But you want you know to bring the saying? right people. So you can in the sense door. So we do that. that people it, don't always have the okay. ability to sustain. Not momentum. everybody. No, no. Some people are doing it and as a, as an off. And listen, something. I'm saying that for us too. No, no, okay, no. it is a challenge Robert. to sustain what you do month event to event. Well, first of all, anything you do. By the way, anything you do. If you want to have, I have very high standards of excellence. I know I'm with you. That's the exception. Listen, last night there were five <laughs> events going on. You hear what I just no. said? No. Last night there were five no. events going on. Uh, no, no. I, I told Lindsay that. Five. Five. In addition to hours. Let me tell you what the five were. Okay? Yes, constructive criticism is always welcome. And we really don't take it personally. I'm going to tell you something. It's because he, people who care... And we ask, and we do survey, and we are surveying, and the survey is going out for our sponsors and attendees, and we have done it most of the, our events. Not all, but we should have, but all. And we have a lot of great insights and data regarding that. And even when we get our ticket sales, mm -hmm. we know about the people that are coming. Yes, no, we no. want to know but where they're coming from. But what I want to tell you but something. But we've always been, no. we've always been conscientious marketers in, in finding out if our investment is working. Or no, not. but my standards of excellence are very high. And I really strongly believe, okay, first of all, relationship trumps everything. Relationship matters, okay? Also, follow-up matters. There's a lots of lessons learned through the years that we can impart on new entrepreneurs. So the thing is, is that I think we're getting it. So first of all, when you are in event planning, the details are what matters. And every single event, we made a commitment on how our business model was. We wanted to have live music. We started it with Filthy Rich that we discovered at Ruthie's. But even Wait. even the live music, I'm not going to start listing everything. What? We didn't have that many. We'll it doesn't matter. Do. It's immaterial. No, it, it isn't. What we learned through People that, love the live music. They loved it. Some of it was too loud. And we and tried we to adjust that. that. And we tried. So thank you, Mitzi and Lucas, for because two Because they were able to, to bring the right balance to the guitar. Room. And you know what? Harry requested Beatles. Harry from Sitchin Cooperman. He requested Beatles. And, um, and they played oh it. But it was what it we was needed so was background beautiful. music to fill Hi. the air. But wait a second. It then you know what's so cool what that happens needed. in our room? So then Tom went to high school right. with... Zach of Cooperman. Wait. He sees him growing up. I saw Zach and Garrett Kramer, mm -hmm. two of the three <clears throat> triplets that I knew since they're little boys, and they are in merchant processing. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the business working with Citroen. Crazy small world. Mm -hmm. Okay. First of all, Jill Majancalda comes, even though her husband's out of town. Right. She comes, she got her Lily Pearl. And see. she got I think she got the spray. From oxygen uh -huh. as well, because that's what she was looking for the last right, time. Right, because Andy came in last he came time in and with wanted the empty spray. thing, and he goes, "Where are right. they?" And people do that, by the way. People <clears> come <throat> and say, "Where are they? Where are they?" Pira Cura got was, Brittany was sick last time. She was back this time. It was so awesome to have her back. She also spoke. So let me tell you something. What was so cool about this space was that we had not only the kitchen area, okay, which was so cool how they put the menu right, in. Elated, and and elated. which came to kind of pop up as two separate entities. Right? And, if, can and I'm now starting to collaborate food and beverage. beverage. Right. And so they had this really great oh my God, this that John was, put together. It was a fabulous. Graphic of their menu. And again, didn't have any <clears throat> divinely delicious that was there. And dinner. But we I also had like a little tiny tape. I, I had one of. There were potato I chips had, that uh, the lady had with a dip. I had um, 
I Jess, mean, I had a couple of you did? tastes from Jess. Why is that? See, again, I said you I wanted to walk way around there. with you. You're but too wait. busy talking And in to the room was 420 photo booths. And I'm going to tell you something. Thank you, Joe. Joe. Because Limo everybody... And just so you know, 420 photo booths, just kind of one tiny part of his business. Photo booths for, any for anything. He's been in the photo booth business for a long time in Hire the event him. business. So LaModa photo booths. Suitable for weddings, bar mitzvahs, sweet sixteens, anniversary Tributes, parties, all any kinds event. of things. I mean, they were they discovered they were the, <clears> the, <throat> that real people. I mean, real people. Gary and Marie discovered, right, discovered them. them, and Marie told me that. You right, know, right? The no, other thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got it. I know what you started talking about. The re, I got to rewind. There were five other events. I'm going to tell you what the five events were. Okay, because it's really that's what you said, and I got, I, I I I digress. Five other events. One in Philadelphia for twenty Easy X. One in New York City. Two in New York City. Two in New York City. Can I gather? And Santa Ohana. Um, no. No. Yes. No. Oh, Hoboken. I'm sorry. What was the no. other one in New York? The on Revel. The, on the on Revel. The Revel. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, listen to me. 420 EZX in Philly. Two in New York. Can I gather? And on the Revel. Where Popped was also represented. We thank you, Michelle, for being at ours. But Lauren was it on the Revel. Mm-hmm. Two more events there were. San Ohana's second anniversary event in Hoboken. Mm -hmm. And the, the political people, the New Jersey County Business Association people that we have, have an amazing relationship right. with, it's a were League down of at League of Municipalities down in, in Atlantic, Atlantic City. City. Five other cannabis-related events. Let me tell you something else, which Robert was going to talk about. Well, two things. 1120. 1220 was the day the Farm Bill was passed, our first event. Yesterday, 1120. Serendipitously, coincidentally, on the day the Moore Act means we are making one step further the movement of legalization federally. Awesome day. Let me go back to some things that we like. We like art and entertainment. So we talked about the music. Thank you, Jason Silverman, for doing some close-up magic. Jimmy did magic. Okay. First of all, he did such a great trick. Whatever magic trick, whatever, to me and, and David and Mark from Jar Vapor. Oh my God. It was, it was perfect. And by the way, Zach from Sitchin Cooperman is getting married next November and is interested in him for his wedding. So I'm like, that's the power working with us. Okay. Because people get discovered. Jody Way was at our last event, 1010 in Livingston. Okay. She won the Mark III CBD giveaway. I started talking to her. I don't even know how this happened. She tells me she's caricatures. I said, I want a caricature to my event. Guess what? Everybody. Including, oh, we didn't show. Wait, you want to show what? it? Caricature? Yeah. Where Can you go get her? It's Where's in the um, tent. On the desk. I want to show you our um, caricature. And Lindsay and Elliot got one too. And and wait, Julian Fiji from Mood Max. And we, they got one with the, the doggy is Fiji. And then, okay, we also, we had the live music. And we always have CBD and massage. And we like to support local businesses. So we had Patty Safian from New Jersey, um, uh, Acupuncture and Fertility Wellness Center. Ari was there to do CBD massage. It was so awesome. Amazing giveaway. So look at this. It's fun. Caricatures are fun. We have another one that we could show, really, actually, that we have over there. Thank you, Jody. Go luck. First of all, who told you you look like George Lucas in this photo? I don't know who said it. I, I, get, I get that once a month. And I don't think this really George looks Lewis. like me, but let me tell you something. It's fun. And I love the kind of leaves in the background. And she did this from a photo. She didn't do this one in person. But I asked her to do it. And you know what? Is the blue, is that supposed to be gray? I love that we had the kind of leaf around my neck. Is that supposed neck. to be gray, the blue? No. No, she doesn't does color hair. Right. Let me tell you, everyone's caricature looks so amazing. The other thing, so we had the magic. We had art with the caricature. We had the CBD massage and we had the music. Let me tell you something else. We had new brands and we had repeat exhibitors. Brands, okay. We it had. It was about 50-50. Thank you, Deborah. I think it was about fifty-fifty. I think. I do. You know what? But I'm going. I I am thank everybody. There's I because once we do a floor plan, it's in great. Wait, first I want to thank our family. Hey, Bill. Hey, you got to come twelve seventeen. Yes. Okay. In call twelve. Let me tell you something. I want to thank our little team. Okay. Okay. We've got our, our family children. members. Our, our children. children. Lindsay and Alex. Okay, right. Alex wasn't right. feeling so great yesterday, so he right. he wasn't he was able to come a little later, but he really was sick all day long. We didn't we okay? couldn't depend on him. We couldn't. So Dan came. Thank you, Dan, and Joe calls me. 
both of you for coming and documenting the event. Thank you to Peyton Miller and thank you to Elizabeth. And Ashley. And Ashley is like a, a daughter of mine from, the, from day from one. She is so beautiful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I will tell you something. Last night, the education is always unique. And we try to keep bringing some new information and insights into this business. Thank you to Brittany and Igor, well, Brittany from Pura Cura, Oleg from Lock and Key, Igor from BZBs, Sabrina from Lily Pearl, and Gal and Shane, our health um well, is a, Gal is well, a, a, a registered nurse, nurse, nurse and Shane talking about the cannabinoid um, um, works at therapy Harmony and he works at Harmony as a cultivator, right? So honestly, we have connected with the most extraordinary people. But I will tell you, we've ex we've connected with new people such as Mike from CB Delivered, Natasha and Jackie from Be Free, Catherine from Fog and Tree. Best buds. Amanda and Jen and Laura from Best Buds. Michelle from Pot, also Lauren. Okay. Michael. Michael. Mood mats. Michael. Well, so then the repeat, who we are so grateful for. Michael Briotti with Mood mats. Tillman from Oxygen. Brittany from Pura Cura. Oleg from Lock and Key. Igor from BZBs. Um, Sabrina from Lily Pearl. Um, Florology. Thank you, Citrin, the first time. Florology Jess, Elated Red Elephants, Elephants Raul, Raul and John, and Dana Canicare Docs, and Ursula Divinely Delicious. And thank you, BCB Bank, for supporting. Hello, Jill. We missed you for supporting um, the, our, our Pop, Pop Talks, Talks education. Mm -hmm. BCB, thank you, thank you. And and like I said, thank you to Sitchin Kuberman for showing up and supporting the industry at large. And, and, oh, and thank you, Mary Mead, for, for for providing giveaways to our um, early, uh, our on time, our first our first arrivals. Cannabis Big Sisters Guide buy our books, book. ten dollars, awesome book. We're gonna we're gonna add that to our website so people can yes. discover it, right? Because Makes we like to gift. share it's a books. Great, stocking great, stuffer. great book, and I will tell you, people were so engaged. Now, did I? Cover everybody. I think, think so. I covered everybody. Yeah. We talk. Oh, we started about Patty with New Jersey with the massage, and I think I did right. Right. I think we went around the room, and I will tell you something. There were some people that were not available. Um, number one, because of the other events, and two, because they had other commitments. But that's why we try to give as much lead time as possible. So if you are a sponsor or someone who is involved in the CBD world, reach out to me because twelve seventeen is going right. to be. So um, that's going to be a, a health and wellness themed. Shopping, holiday shopping and fitness, day, and fitness, fitness wellness. And fitness and wellness. My this body is Tuesday, spirit. Tuesday, December 17th, starting at 4.20 p.m. at Indigo Yoga Studio. And there will be some education Caldwell. and shopping. Beautiful studio. One week before Hanukkah and Christmas. Beautiful studio space. Um, where Thank you, There's going to be instruction going on, some Ed Pop Talks education. There's going to be... Um, Sampling shopping. Sampling shopping. And There's we're going gonna, to infuse a few other um, treats. Right. So listen. And, and but, CBD yoga. But tell everyone what happened. And we didn't CBD get our yoga. paper yet. We did not get our West Essex Tribune. But yes, we've already been told... But we've been... We're on the front page. That we're, we are on the West front Essex page of our Tribune. local newspaper. And why? Because the lead story is is marijuana. Uh, and there the were two, planning board. There were two big meetings in Livingston. The planning board meeting, town council meeting... They're trying to push through a, a legislation to ban cannabis business activities of all kinds here in Livingston for fear of the big bad green plant that's going to eat everybody up and and swallow their brains. Like Little Shop of Horrors. Right. Little Shop. So, little Shop of Horrors. So if Livingston little doesn't shop. have it in town, they're going to save their citizens from the, the horrors of cannabis. So education is but vital. But we're not talking about recreational cannabis. We're medical, talking about medicine. Medical. So the town wants to keep medicine from people. That's what they want to keep. So we're working hard to make sure that um, our elected officials, the officials who we cast votes to put into power, um, will fulfill the wishes of their constituents uh, rather than succumb to pressures from I don't know where because I don't hear 
the Too rattling of anyone no saying, hey, we got to keep this out of our town. Where's the opposition? Where where are those people? Well, we want to be part of that so, committee, right? So, so just yeah. so you know, if you had any interest so, but of I'm being saying, part of the know, CBD and cannabis community, I would recommend reach that out if you, if the council is, pl- I'm going to give you a, a heads up, council, right? If you're planning on the ban, well, you better have some people that are going to speak up as to why we should have this ban. Because if all we have are people that are against this ban, and you go ahead and vote this through anyway, then I'm not sure why we have you in place. But thank, but wait, thank you, Faha. Right? Yeah, Faha and Scott Goldman, like are two people that we know that, that in addition to us, spoke up. I love that they, you know, we talked about this the other day, how the freeholders Listen, came big up voices, to us. big voices can move loud. big things. Make, okay? Move mountains. So think Speak about up. that. Be part of the solution. So we are really proud. Like I said, we're going to go into our ninth event, our first anniversary on on twelve seventeen. December is my favorite month. You know that. And again, I make the offer: if anyone locally would like to accompany me to a medical cannabis dispensary here in New Jersey to see what it is that we're all afraid of, please join. Me. Some of you on here know exactly what he's talking about with with. Harmony, and also, um, we did meet a really nice vet last night who came with his doggy. The more sunglasses. By far, the coolest dog. He's a dog, dog trainer. The coolest dog on the planet yeah. was at Canapop last night. Such a good dog. Last night. Such a good, there were two dogs. He, I mean, Fiji and. <coughs> well, Fiji's dog. been there. Yeah, yeah. He is a she's service kind dog of, too. She's Shape. kind of. She's kind she's of. She's adorable. Um, a tiny little. She's just. She's adorable. just part of the Canapop family. Her, and they asked for three chairs. But I love this because dog, one chair is for Fiji. This dog. Do I have his card? I gotta I pull know. this card. I took his card. But let me tell this you, this dog has a um, personality. Has a, an Instagram account. First of all, uh-huh. let, me, let me turn you, you on. Make sure that they start, um, they've got to start talking about kind of pop up the dog. Yeah. Oh, you found it. No. No. That's no. no? Mm. Mm. Oh, I know that. Mm. Where'd you put it? I may have it. You may have given it to me. Did I give it to you? I don't know. It's pop up. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I got him. I see it. I see it. I got him. Okay, so. Hey, Sam. So I can see. I know we're going a little long here. Yeah. But, we are much longer we're than we're still. Okay, so love my dog. By the way, this is decompression day. This okay, feels good. so check this out. Check out this dog. Oh, God. Okay, so this dog was at... Let me cover his... Maybe Because maybe he doesn't want his... Love my um, dog. He's, why would he care? Yeah, he's, he's, I, mean, a, I mean, it's a business card. Here. Okay, this is a business card. Why? Follow These him. guys were at our event last night. This is by far the coolest dog on the planet, if you can see that. Okay? And everyone kept and looking over dogs, the, uh, during the um, pop talks. This guy's a vet. He's a service dog. He's got two dogs. And these guys um, hung out at our event all last night. And we were glad to... He was so to, cool uh, during the Pop Talks. I will tell you that... This dog wore sunglasses, carried a bag in his mouth, carried a bottle in his mouth. Chill. I, I, it's just, he was a really good just, dog. And he was a really nice guy. He was. He, 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 um, he gave us a gift. He did. I don't know. He gave it. us gifts. I think Mine's upstairs. So, anyways, we hope you're having a great week. I can't believe it's on Thursday. We usually have events Thursday night. It's the first time we did a Wednesday night. So, it's kind of, I'm a little off because I feel like it's a Friday, but it's not, which I'm kind of glad. I am teaching my spin class tomorrow morning. If any of you so like Joshua, to join me at the Y so jo- at 15 a.m. Now so, that Joshua came in and was so moved by what, what we do. put it right on my wrist, So, he, this is actually a bookmark right. he made uh-huh. and he with, on with some rare, rare stones here okay. that he put I'm on so tired, everybody. I gotta and created and it's adjustable and so he was he he made this for us he made one each Mother, and i need you to rub more cbd we thank, on me i'm so we, we oh my thank god Josh, my neck and my shoulders and my back and my legs okay all right so um CBD hi jackie is amazing um Explore right, so, it, discover mm. it, come to kind of pop up. You'll meet the best December people 17th, and the best products health ever. And wellness, shopping event for the holidays. And it's a really great place because it's actually a storefront. So it's like. It's right on Bloomfield Avenue. Beautiful studios inside. Aerial yoga, aerial CBD yoga. 
You could, you there's know, I'm hammocks. Gonna, I'm going to try it. I'm going to do that. Hammocks. Can I do that? Even though we're doing this? Can we, sure. Can I do that? Sure. And Pop Talks education, shopping, sampling, all so the great stuff. So obviously, we just came off that event, but know. we're already on to the next event. And then watch out 2020. So if you're a CBD brand Reach and out. you want to join the Can of Pop Up family, now's a great time to do it. Have an amazing evening. We are headed to Religions of the Religions World. Religions of the World. In one hour. So if you're in Livingston, come say hello. Maybe even if you come say hello, I'll give you a moon mat. How about that? Because I gave all of our. Did you know I gave all of our exhibitors? And they were all taking selfies with it. I saw everyone. So thank you, Michael, because you are awesome. Okay, providing these custom mood mats to us. Yeah, here we go. We have a little one. We're going to be all over the house. Yeah. Well, they're my coasters. They're all over the house. Okay, so if you come over to me, I promise I will give you a we'll little one, a little one. A um, and I use it, like movement. I said, as my um, coaster by my bed. I gave it to every sponsor, and there was an engaged Recycled couple. Recycled mood mats. But he makes some really great other ones. Like, first oh, of all, I think beautiful. every business should create these with him. Yep. Right. Yep. Because I love branded products, and I think this is a really cool one. And I do like upcycling. Have a great night, everybody.